Welcome to Development Book Club. Today we begin with the Book of Joy, subtitled Lasting Happiness in a Changing World, which is attributed to be written by the Dalai Lama, Desmond Tutu, and Douglas Abrams. It's not actually written by the Dalai Lama and Desmond, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. However, the, the book sort of chronicles a five-day meeting celebration that took place between uh, the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu over the Dalai Lama's, I believe his 80th birthday, and it is sort of their interactions are relayed by Douglas Abrams. So I would guess he would get the writing credit, but anyways, his account of the five days of their discussions of joy, and there's sort of three sort of different pieces of the book which are, he moves back and forth between the teachings of the, the two of them. He will, he inserts scientific studies about joy, happiness, sadness, etc. And then there's also, thirdly, stories of just more informal interactions. There weren't formal talks or discussions between the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. And I chose this book in the hope for it to serve as a complementary piece to the book Loving Kindness, which we covered way back in January and sort of as a continuation <clears throat> of the Brahma Viharas, of which is loving kindness, joy, uh, what's the term that they use for joy, um, sympathetic joy, compassion, and equanimity. And it should be noted that this book shares the thoughts mostly of the Dalai Lama and Archbishop Desmond Tutu uh, by way of Douglas Abrams. And that these two men come from different traditions than the ones that we've been covering so far. The books that we've all covered so far have been from the Theravada Buddhist tradition. Desmond Tutu is a Catholic bishop, and the Dalai Lama comes from the Tibetan Buddhist tradition. And from the sort of the focus on the Buddhist piece, the biggest difference is that I've noticed is I'm almost done with the book. We're only going to cover the beginning today. Have been the Dalai Lama's focused on compassion, which ironically is one of the other Brahma Viharas, and his sort of informal attitude and lighthearted nature. I had the opportunity to see him speak probably 10 years ago in California, and I was struck by how much he was laughing uh, on stage. Now, I thought he'd be a serious monk, you know? Um, not the case at all. Like, they refer to themselves as uh, mischievous spiritual brothers, and they're always kind of, not always, but frequently poking at each other verbally, like making fun of each other, which, for those who from a Buddhist tradition, we talk about wise speech and they're not not wanting to have like uh, informal sort of lower conversations and you definitely see him having these conversations in a, in a funny lighthearted way just a couple of broad strokes the three major sections of the book are the nature of true joy obstacles to joy and the eight pillars of joy today we're going to just, just talk about the nature of joy and we'll be done as we meet our two mischievous spiritual brothers, uh, Desmond Tutu begins in saying, sort of setting up joy, what is joy? And he frames it as it's much bigger than happiness. Well, happiness is often seen as being dependent on external circumstances. Joy is not. The Dalai Lama says that, this quote sort of struck me, says there are seven billion human beings and nobody wants to have problems or suffering. He takes it sort of as like, well, what's going wrong now? But it's, I appreciate the perspective. Like, imagine that you weren't part of this planet and you saw this planet, oh, there's seven billion of this specific species, and none of them want to have any problems with it. Um, so, in addition, there's a focus on the idea that nothing beautiful comes without suffering, without some suffering, he says, they say. And I read previously in a different book, we talked about that we sort of expect there to be no, like if we're using the metaphor of a road, there to be no bumps on the road of life. And then we think, oh, once there's like no bumps, then we can be happy. That's sort of the model that Desmond Tutu talks about, like, oh, it's this external, depending on external circumstances, it's dependent on the road, right? And the idea here is that it's dependent on us and how we drive on the road. Next time we'll really dig into the obstacles of joy. Uh, lots of anecdotes and stories from their meetings. We'll see you then.